Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi there, everybody. Welcome. And it's Flak 38 time by Trumpeter. Now, I need this kit built to actually go on one of the flatbeds so I can get all the sandbags uh, in the right position and sort it out. I'm going to do it the way I normally do it. We'll have a little look at the instructions. I build so much, uh, then I'll come back to you and we'll have a quick discussion about what's being built, if there's any problems. And that will be it. So, without further ado, let's get into the box and let's get building. Right, we're um, on the bench and we're going to have a look in the, the start of the instructions. Now, step one, it's mainly the assembly of the uh, quad guns, so that's pretty straightforward and linked right home about. Moving down to step two, now we've got the actual main support for the guns and also we have got quite a lot of PE to do on this which I'm not looking forward to but there you go we will do it uh, not a great deal to be done on step one and two so what I shall do now I'm gonna get on and get step one and step two all done and completed and then I'll come back to you we'll have a little look and a quick discussion about uh, if there was any problems okay I'm back with the uh, step one and step two and I have to say I never had no problems at all with it it absolutely it just it literally just fell together and including the PE of these little uh, magazine holders which was there were two of them and each of these are individual they had to be fixed in it did it just went together absolutely beautiful and I'm really I'm really impressed with it. It really is a beautiful little kit so far. I did both the, both of these uh, magazine holders, and like I say, all I used was a pair of flat tweezers. They folded nice. Uh, I did actually solder these, uh, believe it or not. I just soldered the edges, and then I used super glue to actually put the dividers in because they just slotted in a little bit of super glue on each of them perfect no problems at all absolutely no complaints about this part of the build so far so after that bit getting its praises we'll take a little look at the instructions and we'll move on to the right, next stage back with the instructions now parts three and four and looking at it we've got a lot more PE to do there is a lot of little fiddly bits now uh, to start assembling uh, not much PE on these two steps at the top. This is mainly, I think, the, the, well, actually the gun sight and other bits and pieces to go on. But moving down, we start putting quite a bit of PE together. Uh, seats, quite a lot of PE, a lot of bending. We're gonna see how this goes. And we've also got some tiny pieces of PE, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, no great deal well, there's no PE on that which is good and at the bottom we have the assembly of I would say this is the actual uh, gun shrouds that actually go on the front of these and these are both in PE and there's four of them to make up so wish me luck I will uh, continue on and uh, I shall be back with you very shortly and we'll see what happens. Now I've completed a section, what section was it? Uh, section three and four. Now I'm going to have to be totally honest with you. I put the shrouds on uh, which is not until the next part. The simple reason is I totally mullered them. I really did mess them up. Uh, simple reason is there's some extremely fine bends uh, to be done and I haven't got a PE bender and I tried doing it with pliers, uh, not with pliers, with uh, tweezers and that and it's just too too fine to actually uh, get the bends 
and I made a total mess of them. So I had to sort of uh, make good the damage that I actually did, which hasn't turned out too bad. I'm quite happy with it. But I will suggest that if you do buy this kit, because they don't give you no uh, styrene options uh, to fit on, the PE is the part. So I would suggest if you haven't got a, a photo edge bender, go out and get yourself one uh, because you will be needing it. Uh, I've just ordered myself one and I'm not gonna tackle, because I've got a couple more of these to do, I'm not gonna tackle them until I do get my PE bender uh, so I can make a better job of it, but onwards and upwards. So putting that to one side, I've done all the bits and pieces, all the PE, and I must admit, it really is good. Uh, besides that issue, my own issue, no issues at, at all with it. Uh, but there is a sort of uh, discrepancy in the actual uh, drawings, in the plans. And I will get to that, and that is concerning these bits here, these two uh, foot uh, standing uh, pieces, whatever you want to call them, because they do indicate to actually cut them off, but they don't really tell you the reason why. But we'll go back over to the plans, and I will quickly show you that, uh, just so if you are building this, you don't do what I did, cut them off, and have to re-glue them back on again. Right, before I go any further, I will just run through uh, this little bit that doesn't really give you a option for why they, you're actually doing it. Now it's got clearly indicated these two pieces here to be cut off. And also it's indicating this top tag to, cut off, uh, to be cut off. Now, it's only when you get further back into the destructions that you actually sort of get some sort of indication of uh, why you're cutting them off. Now, if you cut them off, you're going to put them, you're going to re-glue them back on in the uh, closed position so it's on the trailer, which is okay if you're going to put it on the trailer, but if you want it down flat, uh, ready for action, should I say? You actually need these left on, but they don't tell you that on this piece here. So just be aware of that. If you want this to be actually on the floor, uh, ready for action, you don't actually cut them bits off, you leave them on. I cut mine off and I ended up having to glue them back on and I don't want you to do that. So. That's that bit, we've got that bit uh, squared up, uh, nothing else. Now, I've completed all these bits here, and these are the bits I mullered up. Uh, we've got some very fine bends to actually get, to make this curve. So, do get yourself a, a, a PE bender uh, if you've got this kit and you want to uh, make a nice job of it. Now, turning over, I've already uh, completed this bit because I had to glue these bits on and get them sorted out and also I put this little stabilizing arm on for the site which is all done. Uh, these bits I've re glued back on flat so I can actually put it on the flat bed uh, ready for use should I say. So the next bit I've got to do is I've got to make the seats up which fit onto there which is no problem and then this is really going to be fun. Uh, the actual front plate is all PE. It's all made from PE. Uh, so this is going to be fun. So watch th watch this space. Uh, if if I can uh, do it properly or not, <laughs> because I still haven't got a PE bender. But we'll have a go. We'll we'll have a go as we've uh, got this far. So. I'm going to get on now and get this lock made up and also I shall make the base up as well just put these small bits and pieces on the base because there's not a great deal there and then I shall come back to you.
Right, I actually got these together with no problems. Just using my tweezers because the bends on the back bits were a little bit easier. Uh, but I'm still going to get this. I've, like I say, I've still ordered a PE bender. There's quite a lot of bends in it and edges to be glued, but I'm quite happy with them. They came out pretty well. So I've got them bits done. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get these fitted to the gun and get this little gun finished off. Finally got it all together. Right, done the uh, gun shields. Uh, a lot of PE and a lot of making up. Uh, different angles but I got there in the end and I'm quite happy with it uh, everything's been put onto it now it's complete we've got the seats on we've got the magazines in uh, one small problem the magazines I know they fit into the guns nice but they don't actually fit into the rack at the bottom there you do have to do a little bit of sanding to actually get them in uh, no great great deal but uh, that's the way it goes I suppose but all in all I'm quite happy with that it's very well detailed uh, no big issues with it only with the instructions uh, a little bit vague on uh, doing bits and pieces uh, very vague as well on the way that the actual PE goes together uh, you really do need to study it as you're going along to make sure you're doing the right thing so all in all I'm quite happy with that it's a nice little gun right now we've finished the gun and uh, I'm gonna move on now and get the trailer done okay destructions for the trailer there's not too much there it's quite simple and straightforward uh, just the wheels on mud guards uh, there is a couple of bits of uh, small PE but nothing too major. So I'm gonna get that done, uh, get it all together, and then we'll have a look at the whole thing uh, in its finished state, should I say. Okay, the trailer built, not too much to it, about 15, 20 minutes to build, nice and easy. Uh, not a lot to be said about it. It's a trailer, it's reasonably detailed, and I'm quite happy with it. Now. I can't actually fit uh, the gun in there because all the shields are out and everything else. But what I can do is just to give you a rough idea is actually put that on the top. Right, so it actually would sit underneath. But I think that looks pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I won't be using these uh, trolley, well, uh, trailers should I say because these are all going to go on the flatbeds and uh, I've done a little bit of research on it and uh, once they were fitted to these uh, flatbeds they were left there until uh, they were probably destroyed so I won't be putting any more of the, well I will be putting the trailers together so people can see but I won't actually be using them on the flatbeds so uh, that is it that is the finished item now a uh, little plan of action I will be doing the uh, is it the 37 I think this is I'm lost where I am now what are we on now uh, yeah we'll be doing the 37 next and I'll be building that and getting that complete and then what I'm planning to do is uh, once I've got the, uh, both guns done, is to actually assemble, it, assemble them on the actual flatbed. So I will then do the sandbags, get them all painted and get the guns painted and actually do them all together and finished. I will do individual videos on that so you can see what's, what's going on. So that's it, that's my plan of action. What I shall leave you with now is uh, some photographs and I'll just thank, thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.
This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. What up?